Good morning and welcome back to the channel. I thought I could show you one of my favourite places to ever ride and that is the lovely national park that is the Peak District and I think the Peak District is one of the most beautiful areas around where I live. It's about 45 minutes an hour away to get within the Peak District but there are some fantastic roads, there are some fantastic scenery um, and it's full of bikers which also means it's full of coppers so you've got to be a little bit careful but we will do our best so stick around This road is just incredible. It's such a nice place. And this is just before Matlock, if you're coming from Derby. You turn left at, I think it's Cromford or Cranford. And you just have this sweeping, winding mountain pass. Well, through the through the hills. No, I wouldn't call it a mountain as, as such, but it's just incredible. And what a morning for it. can just go forever on these roads and this is only 50 minutes from where I live the Peak District it really is one of the most incredible places to ride, live, work and you also get a lot of bikers up here so it's very biker friendly
been a while since I've been down at this one but oh it is a lovely one oh big old way up I came down here on my first ride out with a TRF I mean look at this it, it does not get much better than this all right if it was 30 degrees and not quite chilly but it's gonna be nice later way up fucking out wrong line there left here somewhere what have you got there? High Peak Trail I think this may be it we'll have a look I mean it doesn't get much better than this Gravel roads, I think, are possibly the funnest thing to do on a bike. I don't even know where I'm really going. I think down here. I think this pops us out at another little village, way up, big old. And this is what it's about this is why you want a motorbike <laughs> to go off grid to explore and find new place I've never been up here shit mate that's deep <sighs> you, you want to find these places you want to experience them and know where they are Because that is a bloody amazing road. Public footpath, no. Down here. And these bikes just chew it up. Anything that you want to throw at it, it can do. A few moments later. I don't think I was recording just then. Because I dropped her. Just got to the end of the road and big dip in the ground, front wheel out. Didn't realise how far off the ground my feet were. And as soon as she starts going, she's gone. But hand guards have done the job. Double tape mirrors did the job. And the engine guard's done its job. So 
not too bad. I did feel a little bit like crying, but they're somewhat designed for that, aren't they? Especially the sort of stuff I'm doing for it is uh, it's not really pushing it to its limits. Seriously, if you haven't ridden the peaks yet, you have to get up here and ride, or get down here, wherever you are. There is a road uh, through the Peak District called Snake Pass, um, and that basically goes, I believe, from like Sheffield over to Manchester Way, something like that. And that is. Uh, pretty special but there is a lot of coppers down there oh we're getting past Carsington water I know where we are yeah I definitely recommend if anybody does have a, a dual sport adventure bike or whatever get yourself some double tape mirrors because not only are they... Oh, bloody hell, Carsington. Yeah, not only are they so adjustable in every single direction, but they're also so good if, like me just then, you are a bit of a bell end and drop the bike, they just fold in. You're not cracking anything, you're not breaking anything. Probably should get some crash bars on here though. I think that will about do it for today. Thanks again for joining. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button down below to be notified of um, of the next one. So thank you very much and uh, enjoy your weekend. <laughs>